Welcome to our lecture online. Here we're going to take a look at the dot product in three dimensions. Now, if you're already familiar with the dot product in two dimensions, you will see that there's not a lot of difference. The rules are exactly the same, just one more dimension. So let's say we have two vectors, vector A and vector B. Here is a pictorial of the two vectors, and they have an angle between them. Let's call the angle between them theta. Now, the vectors are defined as the sum of the x, y, and z components. We have the x component of a in the i direction, the, z, the y component of a in the j direction, and the z component of a in the k direction. Remember, remember that i, j, and k are synonymous to the x, y, and z unit vectors. So what do we do when we have a dot product? When we, do, when we have a dot product between two vectors, we multiply the magnitude of a times the magnitude of b times the cosine of the angle between them. Now, the angle between them is known, and we know the components of, of x of uh, a and b. We can then find the magnitude of a by using the Pythagorean theorem in three dimensions. It's the square root of the x component squared plus the y component squared plus the z component squared. Well, we can do the same thing for the b vector. The is the square root of the sum of the x component squared plus the y component squared plus the z component squared. So that gives us the magnitude of the two vectors. We multiply those two magnitudes together, and we multiply that times the cosine of the angle between them, and that gives us the dot product. Notice that the dot product gives us a scalar result. The dot product of two vectors is a scalar, not a vector. If you don't know the angle between the two vectors, you can also find the dot product by multiplying the two x components together, the two y components together, and the two z components together. That will allow you to get the, um, the dot product just the same. It will give you the exact same result. Now, since a dot b is equal to this and a dot b is equal to that, we can set those two equal to, in, to one another. We can then write that a b times the cosine of theta is equal to this. And then if we solve this for theta, we now have a third equation that allows you to find the angle between two vectors using the two definitions of the dot product. So the angle is equal to the inverse cosine of ax bx plus ay by plus az bz divided by the magnitude, the product of the magnitudes of a and b. So those are three very important equations, two different ways of finding the dot product and the third way to find the angle between the two vectors if the angle is not known. And of course, you'll probably want to see some examples of that, so we'll show you some examples on the next few videos. And that's how it's done.